Zach Weston in the standings. And yes, and here indeed. comes the grid with yep. Zach Weston on pole position. He's followed by Ty Butler in second place. Mason Greasley is lines up in third. Tyo Collymore is in fourth place. There's usually a lot of support for him on the stream. George Bowes is in fifth place with Harley McCabe in sixth. Jordan Thomas lines up seventh with uh, Nathan Ellis in eighth. I Apologise, his surname does not quite fit. In there, ninth is Ruby Booth, tenth Thomas Bond, and eleventh is George Wood, who I believe I spoke to this afternoon in the interview room. Ruben Kingham is in twelfth place. Jack Newton lines up thirteenth. Alongside him is Ralph Croft. Billy Carter is in fifteenth position today, and Joseph Mustiaka is in 16th. George Bartle has qualified 17th for this one. Harry Pell is in 18th. And last but not least, in 19th place, is Finley McCabe, rounding out our grid. 19 riders in this one for the SM Bambinos. These bikes, 90 cc's. Actually, I think if we're being precise, I think they're 88, uh, to be absolutely bang on. But the uh, SM90 bi Bambinos then, supported by Fun Bikes. Zach Weston, is your pole sitter, Ty Butler alongside, then it's Harley McCabe and Tyo Collimore. Yes, Zach on uh, the right hand side of your picture with the number 35 bike, 97 is on your left. Indeed. And away they go, it's a good start for Zach Weston. Third place, fourth place starter, Tyo Collimore appears to be up into second place off the bat as they ride up to Christmas Corner, Collymore shapes up a move for the lead. He's got the outside and doesn't manage to make an overtaking manoeuvre. Good no. start from both riders. Yep, hadn't lost out too much by trying that move though. Had Collymore and he's still putting pressure on Weston as there's a good battle for third going on behind as well. And a change indeed as they come into the Zulus. Weston it is though who leads them on to the back straight and he's dropped Collymore somewhat as they come into the final sector of the lap through the boot for the first time. I'm pleased to report that there are no spills. All drivers have navigated themselves to the boot successfully. And across the line comes Zach Weston, lap one leader, followed by Tyro Collymore, Harley McCabe in third, Ty Butler is fourth, Mason Greasley, George Bowes, Nathan Ellis Ward, Tom Bond, Jordan Thomas and Ruby Booth are your top ten. Shout out to everybody watching on the stream. A lot of sport coming in for the riders. Here we've got, though, Harley McCabe challenging Collymore. And oh, it didn't quite work out there, I don't think, as they come into Inkermans. But good battling this over second place. But it is going to allow Zach Weston to uh, pull off down the road. And he is setting a blistering pace, Jake, of 54.104. Yes, yeah, we're looking two seconds quicker there on that first lap. Indeed, we're looking at Collymore, who still holds on to second in spite of a challenge from Harley McCabe. Uh, in the earlier part of the lap, Ty Butler right behind McCabe, ready to challenge for third. Takes a very different line through the final corner, actually, and that's put him side by side going into turn one. But I don't think it's going to pay off because Butler had the outside line McCabe was able to hold on there for so it's as you were as they hold, come up the hill now Tyo Collimore in the number eight Harley McCabe on the seven and Ty Butler on the 97 battle yes. over second place the gap Zach Weston has is already out to five and a half seconds so he's really giving a masterclass at the front of this field I think Harley McCabe is quicker into the Zulus around Inkermans than Tyo Collymore seems to have got the hang of that a lot quicker and closes up very close as they go through the Zulus. As you said earlier, it's very hard to overtake through the Zulus, which I believe is what's keeping him behind at the minute. They come out now onto the back straight. Very different lines again as into the first corner. Yes, Harley McCabe takes second place from Tyo Collymore. 
fourth place is still Ty Butler and Mason Greasley is keeping them honest as well. Fantastic racing over second place. There you can see our leader, Zach Weston, doing a fantastic job at the moment. Fastest lap of the race he has, a 51.612. And then it's a further six or so seconds back to this, the battle over second place. Yes, Tyler Collymore is not letting Harley McCabe get away. He's had a look at how he does that entry to Inkman's now, so we'll have a, some sort of idea as to where McCabe may be quicker around Wilton Mill. Ty Butler very much still involved here. Thank you, Anna Weston, for a shout out to who I assume is your relative. Is that? Yeah, yeah, no, indeed. still out in the lead of this one, setting blistering pace. A 51 6, his best, over a second quicker than the next quickest rider. So, Zach Weston, your leader, Harley McCabe second, Tyo Collimore third, Ty Butler is fourth, Mason Greasley riding well in fifth, sixth is George Bowers, then it's Thomas Bond in seventh, eighth is Nathan Ellis Ward, Jordan Thomas and Ruby Booth round out your top ten, 18 bikes in all in this one. Ty Butler is very close to Ty Collimore in fourth and fifth. As they come into the boot section now, Harley McCabe seems to have built up a little bit of a gap on the two of them as they go through back markers, and that looks like a change of position for me. Yes, they come out of the boot. Second place is still Harley McCabe. He's got a bit of space now between him and the new third place man, Ty Butler. Ty Collymore drops down to fourth place. Yeah, there was some traffic that they were navigating on that lap, wasn't it? To, uh, which added to the challenge of the situation. Indeed there was, Howard. There is your second place rider, Harley McCabe. Now with some breathing space over Ty Butler and Ty O'Collimore. As through down the back straight comes our leader, Zach Weston. Chasing down these two, about 135 and 49, which is Ralph Croft and Jack Newton. Those two are battling over 13th and 14th place. Five laps gone, five laps remain. As I say that, Zach Weston completes his fifth lap. Yep, so far a return to form from what we saw at Teesside for Zach. As Ty Collymore retakes third place from Ty Butler. Those two could be scrapping it out for a while. The two of them now heading up the hill to Christmas Corner. Yep. As we cut back to the battle for 13th and 14th between Jack Newton and Ralph Croft. Yeah, good battle going on as well at the moment for seventh place. Thomas Bond leads Nathan Ellis Ward and Jordan Thomas. Very close together on track, those bikes. Currently on your screen, third place Ty Collymore and fourth place Ty Butler. Collymore in the darker helmet. Butler with the green and red stripe across the top of his white helmet. Coming through the boot now. Second of three left-handed, right-handers, I should say. I do know more right and left. And again, the different line out of that last corner sees a challenge down into our first left-hander, but no change of position thus far. Collymore holds from Butler as once again they go up to Christmas Corner. Bit of traffic for McCabe up ahead. This could come into play for our third and fourth place riders momentarily. Yeah. Collymore absorbing the pressure well here. You do get the sense that Ty Butler is going to try something. He was very strong there under breaking into Inkermans, but there's very rarely an opportunity on in Zulus. Yes, McCabe has navigated these two riders, but now Collymore sees them in his sights as they come into the boot. They will slow them down. Collymore has to defend from Butler. Maintains position, but there's another back marker to come. McCabe now a few seconds down the road. It's bike 135, Jack Newton that's just ahead of them. Collymore looks to go round the outside and just about does. Good drive out of that second corner for him and he's even built up a bit of a gap from that excellent riding from Tyler there. I'd imagine Tyler will come back at him in these last two laps now of the race. Yeah. Jack Newton himself involved in the battle recently got past Ralph Croft on the previous lap. I have to say I'm always extremely impressed whenever I see this class considering the age of these riders they're riding very maturely 
and uh, we've seen we've seen no incidents uh, in this race. And that's no. really good to see. So fantastic riding there. On to the last lap comes Zach Weston. He's driven, he's ridden. Oh, that's one for the jar, isn't it? <laughs> he's ridden superbly. I've had a few already. And uh, is now making his way up the hill. It's going to be a return to winning ways. Ty Butler does indeed get back past Tyo Collymore. I'm not sure if there was a mistake there. Uh, but going up to Christmas, Collymore has taken back third place. These two are neck and neck. It looks like first and second has been decided in this race, but third is very much still up for grabs. I will keep an eye on those as they come through Inkermans now. Collie Moore with just two bike lengths to his advantage. Zach Wesson there is coming through the final That's part the of the lap. Here he is on screen. It's been a superb ride from Zach Weston. He's going to come around and take the checkered flag. Zach Weston wins. Race one of round three in the Junior SM90 Bambinos here at Wilton Mill. Fantastic controlled ride from Zach. And it's Harley McCabe who takes a very good second place. And on the last lap, Tyo Collimore has got past Ty Butler for third. So it's Weston, McCabe, Collimore and Butler. I think all four of those riders, though, could be extremely proud. They put on a fantastic show. Mason Greasley finishes well in fifth. And then we will wait for George Bowes to come across the line in sixth. Thomas Bond comes home in seventh after a pretty much race-long battle with Nathan Ellis Ward, Jordan Thomas and Ruby Booth. Those have all been running quite closely together. Reuben Kingham finishes 11th, George Wood 12th, Jack Newton 13th, Ralph Croft 14th, Billy Carter 15th, 16th, uh, Harry Pell. Joseph Mostika finishes 17th and 18th. Well done to birthday boy, George Bartle. A lot of support coming in. In fact, it's great to see loads of support has been coming in throughout the race there. Plenty of people tuning in to watch that class. There we are then. There was race one of the junior SM90s. So, Right then, we now go into the Junior SM90s. Some of our youngest risers in this class. Let me get you the grid, which is coming up on screen. So, Zach Weston is on pole for this one. Ty Butler alongside, then it's Mason Greasley, Ty O'Collimore starting third and fourth. George Bowes. Starts fifth with Harley McCabe. Sixth, seventh is Jordan Thomas. Nathan Ellis Ward starts eighth. Ninth is Ruby Booth with Thomas Bond rounding out the top ten. Eleventh is George Wood with Reuben Kingham starting twelfth. Jack Newton starts thirteenth with Ralph Croft in fourteenth. Fifteenth is Billy Carter with jo Joseph Mostika in sixteenth. And then it's George Bartle, Harry Pell and Finley McCabe to round out the 19 bike grid. Yes, uh, one of my favourite races this was earlier. Yeah. It's action packed. Agreed. Um, looking forward to exactly the same thing. In a moment, we will have Jake Stamper up here from British Superbikes for a quick chat. Uh, but we'll be sure not to distract ourselves from the action out on track. Parents there showing their sons and daughters where to line up on the grid. To the left hand side on pole position. Zach Weston lines up, blue trim on his bike and suit. Next to him, Ty Butler with the distinctive green and red stripe on his white helmet. In behind them, Mason Greasley in the black and orange. And they're getting ready to go now. Yep, flag in the air. We wait for the engine notes to rise. Zach Weston. 
on pole position. Ty Butler alongside. Flag in the air. Bit of a hold here. But... Engine notes rise, and we're away, but it's a poor start for Zach Weston. Butler takes the lead, going yep. into the first few corners. It was a tricky start to judge, to be fair. There were several delays there with the flag in the air. But Ty Butler it is who leads them up the hill. And Zach Weston's going to have it a lot all to do, actually. He's already challenging around the outside of Christmas. Didn't quite work for him there, remains in fourth. Great start from Ty Butler. He's yep. away with this one. Indeed. Close behind him, I believe. I think Is it's Mason Greasley. Mason Greasley? And yeah, Weston and Collymore, third and fourth. Harley McCabe's in this as well. There's a red flag, though. And I'm wondering, unless we can see an incident out there, Jacob, I think that might have been, been for the false uh, start. Uh, I can't see any incidents. Yeah, I think it's an aborted start. It was. There was some quite yeah. going a bit strange with that, so I think they're going to do a rerun. And perhaps somewhat uniquely, it's time for all the parents to run back to the grid, please. Uh, <laughs> so in they come. Yeah, yeah so let's reform the grid. Uh, there was a few kind of rolled off a bit yeah, too early and I, then I moved back, and then when the flag did go, they didn't get off. And yeah. yeah. So take two of race two. Uh, I'm sure Ty Butler wasn't too concerned about that start, but uh, hopefully he can get just as good a start off this one. Yeah, it can be difficult when you've had a good race start and then it gets called to uh, restart. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm sure he can... It, the, the important thing is to use that as inspiration and not lament the good start that you've just lost. So we're formed up again. Take two of race two in... Fun bikes and M2R racing SM90 Bambinos. Flags are in the air. Engine notes rise, and away we are again. And it's a much better start from Weston this time. Uh, he's going to hold on to it. And indeed, it's not such a good start for Ty Butler. I think someone from the second row of the grid there, Jacob's challenged let's, him for second. Uh, let's Collymore and I believe George Bowes okay. fighting up to Christmas. I think Collymore is now in second, but Bowes goes to the inside and takes the position. Great move there. Uh, is, is it not the seven? Is it not McCabe? Is it? I think that might be McCabe. We'll, it's uh, one of the verifies they, see the they come down the hill. from the third row of the grid. Either way, Zach Weston made up for his poor first start there with a brilliant getaway there, and he leads them on to the back straight. It is indeed the number seven. So that's Harley McCabe. So we've got Weston from McCabe from Collinmore. Great start from the latter two, and Zach Weston obviously holding down the lead from pole position. Round the first of the boot. They've all come round safely again. And Weston leads. Confirmation of that one. McCabe up into second from sixth. Ty Collymore follows. Ty Butler is in fourth. Mason Greasy fifth. Nathan Ellis Ward sixth. And George Bowes is in seventh. They head up now to Christmas Corner. A big lead already for Weston. Followed by McCabe, who looks to be out on his own there in second place. Third, Collymore with a challenge for him from Ty Butler. We'll keep an eye on those two. They're sure to battle throughout the race. Coming out of the Zulus. Butler is close behind Collymore. But Collymore holds position into the boot. Showing on screen there. That's Collymore out in front. Tyo leads. Ty Butler just behind. Good exit out of the last corner for both of them. Bit of a different line. For Butler going down into the first corner, but doesn't make an impression on Collymore just yet. Let's see who gets the good best run out of that second corner and has speed up to Christmas Corner. They look to be pretty evenly matched and straight line speed there. Still no change position. We'll follow them round through the kink towards Inkerman's. Butler's having a look round the outside. Can he give the cut back? Collymore still holds position into the Zulus. We've got a cut in there, Jacob. Please We've do. been joined by a guest in the commentary box. Someone else is braving the heat of the commentary box. We've been joined by uh, Ben Miller. Welcome to the Walk Fast Bikes. Bikes. So I'm now going to hand him a headset. And over to you. You keep a close eye on that back light on track, Howard, and slap me on the shoulder if uh, anything interesting happens. But Ben, how's your day gone so far? Yeah, great, mate. Yeah, we had a few challenges to deal with uh, today in qualifying. Um, 
Dane Blackburn, he, he had some issues with his bike and uh, sacrificed the engine out of mine to, to make sure we go out on the grid. So uh, I'm sharing a bike with, uh, with Rob from, from South Coast Honda. Um, but I, it was a two-stroke this time, so trying to adapt from, from the four-stroke yesterday and getting used to how a two-stroke works around here. Are you enjoying this hunt? Yeah, it's been great. Great fun. Sun shining, two wheels. What, what more can we ask for? Have you been watching much of the racing? Yes, mate. Yeah, good to see little ones uh, out there having a good scrap and, and see how they're progressing as well. I was just saying to Howard, this race, I think, was my favourite earlier. And we've got another good battle on. Uh, Taylor Collymore and Ty Butler currently fighting over third and fourth. Uh, it's a great, great life. Absolutely. Yeah, they're, they're certainly showing promise for sure. Can we uh, expect to see you a couple more rounds then, since we've uh, treated you so nicely at this one? I would like to think so, yeah. Maybe next year, possibly. <sighs> Come to the next one, that's too exciting. Wigan's lovely this time of year. I could imagine. <laughs> Hopefully I've the commentary box wouldn't be quite so, so warm there. Oh, it's, it's like a sauna in here at the minute, isn't it? <laughs> stifling. Uh, but yeah, thank you for joining us in here, despite the stifling heat. Uh, yeah, we'll get back to the action out on track. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Cheers, Ben. Out on track, Zach Weston still leads Harley McCabe. Tyler Collymore has held third place. Ty Butler still close behind him. Less than a second in it. In fact, last time round there was only a tenth. We are following through the boot here. Bikes number 46 on downwards, which looks to me. Have I missed that? Is there a four? There's not. Oh, uh, yeah, 46 is Harry Pell. Apologies for missing that one. It is need. Still no change at the top. Yep. There is Zach Weston. We've picked up our leader. Yep, coming through in comments. Riding really well here is Zach. Harlan Caves is a bit further down the road. Yep, there he is. And coming through in comments now are the duo, That's Ty Collymore and Ty Butler. Still almost nothing between them. A bike length, if that, at all times. Sorry, there is Harley McCabe. That was Billy Carter that we just saw on screen there. Yep. Coming into the boot now is our challenge for third and fourth. Um, we are being shown the last lap board, both on the timing and by the man. They are in sync for once, you'll be pleased to hear. And uh, let's see if Ty Butler sees that board and thinks, I'm going to have to make something out of this. Into the first corner they go. He's going to try and get a good run out of this second corner up to Christmas. They've been neck and neck in terms of straight line speed up that hill so far and seem to be again here a close match through Christmas corner and round the kick they go heading into Inkermans. Zach Weston looks to have this one sewn up the third place is still up for grabs as the cutback for Butler doesn't seem to be on they follow each other through Zulu uh, there's a crash into the start of the boot uh, it's not one of our leaders I can't quite see who that is Zach Weston takes the checkered flag a stellar win for him McCabe will follow him through momentarily there is Harley McCabe and third place Tyo Collymore has held off Ty Butler great racing from the both of them two good riders there Collymore clearly happy to have kept Ty Butler at bay with a little jump for joy on his bike over the line there Mason Greasy comes home in fifth and I believe Nathan Ellis Ward We'll follow him in six. There he goes. George Bowes finishes seventh in shot there. And we'll be waiting for Tom Bond, Ruby Booth, and Ruben Kingham, who crossed the line there in that order, I believe. No, Ruby Booth and Ruben Kingham haven't shown up. In yeah, fact, Jordan Thomas go. has popped up in ninth. Stealing that one away there from Ruby Booth, who is tenth. Ruben Kingham in eleventh. George Wood finishes twelfth. Ralph Croft, Billy Carter. Joseph Mustika, Harry Powell, George Bartle, and Jack Newton. It's your order. 